This is your 28storms.com and Hurricane Tracker app tropical weather update for this Wednesday afternoon, September 21st. Starting off with Tropical Storm Ophelia and the latest late morning advisory from the National Hurricane Center, maximum sustained winds have been increased to 60 miles per hour and that is due to new data that has become available from a ASCAT satellite pass and this is indicative that we could have been dealing with a stronger storm than we first thought when this was initially classified but nevertheless it's more than likely going to max out at this intensity at 60 miles per hour and as it marches off toward the Leeward Islands there's a fairly good chance that it's going to weaken down to a borderline tropical storm and tropical depression. Most of the models are taking the center of circulation just to the northeast of the Leeward Islands however the hurricane center track remains just to the northeast of the leewards including Puerto Rico and there's a fairly good chance that it could actually be a little bit closer to the islands than this hurricane center track is indicating if the storm remains a little bit weaker than the models have over the next 48 hours it has a better chance of remaining on a general west or just north of due west heading for at least the short term However, impacts across the Northeast Caribbean are not expected to be overly high. The system is expected to remain fairly weak in nature. And if the southwest wind shear continues, which is to be expected, much of the strong tropical storm force winds should remain to the north and the northeast of the center. And this is the current estimated look of the surface winds given by the latest hurricane center product. And this should remain the case as the system marches close and near the Caribbean. Tropical Storm Ophelia has a very weak and disorganized look on the latest visible satellite image. You can actually begin to make out the surface circulation becoming exposed to the southwest. If we turn on the latest infrared, we see that all of the strongest convection is located northeast of the center. And that is, uh, once again, due to all of this continued southwesterly wind shear that is being present over much of the central Atlantic. And this is forecast to continue for at least the next three to four days. We have a strong mid to upper level trough over much of the central Atlantic. And this trough is going to retrograde more toward the west. Or in fact, another upper level low is going to develop north of Puerto Rico. And so therefore, we're going to continue seeing a lot of hostile conditions across much of the area. We will take a closer look at the dynamical models in just a moment, but we also have newly classified Tropical Storm Hillary out in the eastern Pacific. Maximum sustained winds are 40 miles per hour. Conditions are favorable for steady intensification. And by 5 a.m. on Friday, the Hurricane Center is expecting Hillary to become the next hurricane. The good news is that the track is keeping this just to the south of the Mexican coastline. And it should continue moving in a general west-northwest direction. But as the Hurricane Center discussion is noting, if this track has to be shifted a little bit more toward the north, then it could be close enough to where they may have to issue at least tropical storm watches and possibly even hurricane watches. But so far, it looks like mainly just some isolated squalls are going to be impacting the coast. But nevertheless, just keep a very close watch on this system as it's very close to land. And this is just a quick look at the spaghetti model plot. Again, this should remain on a general west-northwest track. By the medium range, the models are developing a mid to upper level ridge over much of northern Mexico. So that should prevent the system from making a turn toward the north. Hillary is becoming steadily more organized on the latest visible satellite. The same can be said on the latest infrared. Some of the strongest convection and cloud tops are located just to the south and west of the surface circulation and this should have no trouble becoming the next hurricane. We already have a fairly well-defined outflow pattern which is indicative of very light upper-level winds and an upper-level ridge in place. Starting off with the 12Z CMC model, it takes Tropical Storm Ophelia just to the north of the Leeward Islands, but this is a lot closer to the islands than what the model had this time yesterday afternoon. Also notice by day six the model is taking the system just to the southwest of Bermuda. So interest in Bermuda should just keep a close watch on this system. However it should not be overly strong even if it were to pass over your locale. And it may have a brief window to try to re-intensify just a little bit to the north of Puerto Rico. There may be a temporary period where the upper level conditions may relax for about 12 to 24 hours but then we're going to have a reinforcing shot of troughiness exiting the east coast of the United States and the southwest wind shear should resume. The 12Z run of the GFS model is very similar to that of the Canadian CMC. It takes Tropical Storm Ophelia just to the north of the islands. So once again, we're not expecting very strong impacts here. If anything, you may get a little bit more rainfall, especially on the back side of the system as it begins to lift the intertropical convergence zone northward. And it keeps much of the remainder of the Atlantic fairly quiet for the next seven days. If anything, we may have another tropical wave that we have to keep an eye on out here in the central and eastern Atlantic but anything out there is going to be very far away from land and likely to recurve. 
and much like the CMC was indicating, it keeps Hurricane Ophelia just off the coast of Mexico. Luckily, the forecast is fairly straightforward today because all three of the main models are in general agreement with both of our systems. This is now a quick look at the 12Z ECMWF. By 24 and 48 hours, we continue to see a general west-northwest heading of Tropical Storm Ophelia out there in the Central Atlantic. Also, Tropical Storm Hillary is continuing to move a little bit north of due west as well, passing just to the south of the Mexican Riviera. By 72 hours and day four, Notice that Ophelia is making its closest approach to the Leeward Islands, but it is beginning to weaken due to the continued presence of southwest wind shear. And also notice over the eastern United States, we have that upper level cutoff low that has been forecast to develop here for the past several model cycles. So this looks fairly convincing. And by day five, we have a very strong weakness in the ridging just to the east of the United States. So tropical storm Ophelia is going to recurve no matter what its intensity is and it could be in the general vicinity of Bermuda between days 5 and day 7. So that is your tropical weather summary for this Wednesday afternoon. Please stay tuned to 28storms.com and the Hurricane Tracker app throughout the remainder of the week.